Once dubbed the hardest working man in show business, James Brown is officially in overtime. In fact, no artist has been sampled more than Mr. Dynamite, almost doubling the next artist on the list. James Brown was a legendary performer. He could sing, dance, produce, all of it. His influence can be seen and heard throughout all genres of music, but none more than hip hop, being sampled by the likes of Kanye West, Dr. Dre, Kendrick Lamar, and me, Questlove. James is sort of like the spirit animal of hip hop. If there is a Mount Rushmore of sampled artists, you'd have James Brown, George Clinton, Cool and the Whole Gang, and James Brown again. At the beginning, you only needed James Brown. And so that's why if you look at hip hop around that golden era period, 90% of the stuff is coming off James Brown records because it was like, you don't really need to go anywhere else. His persona and sound are embodied in the DNA of contemporary music. One particular record that stands out from the rest, recorded in Cincinnati in 1969, Funky Drummer, has been sampled over 1,500 times. The funky drummer. <laughs> and when it came out, it wasn't even a hit record. It's a nine-minute jam session with James Brown scatting and talking to his band. You don't have to do no soloing, brother. Just keep what you got. Don't turn it loose. Because it's a mother. The funky drummer namesake, Clyde Stubblefield, was a self-taught musician who improvised the beat after a long day on the road with the rest of the band and ran with it. About five minutes into the song, you get to this unassuming eight-bar drum solo. And it's like, yo, hold up. We're going we gonna to get a drum or some. I'm going to count it off. Clyde Stubblefield was a southpaw, and he had this unmatched poppy left hand that bounced with the beat. His ghost notes on the snare drum were so different than other drummers at the time. It's quintessential funk. But at the time, no one would have predicted that 15 years later, there would be this let there be light moment in hip hop. When that break kicks in, it's just like, you like are looking at each other like, what the fuck is happening right now? Because even, you know, in 2020, when you hear that, come on, it's just like, damn, yo, how in the did he lay this beat down? Sampling aside, you can't understate Brown's footprint in the early DJ hip hop scene. The vamps, the call and response, the charisma were all key elements. Early hip-hop pioneers like Cool Herc and Grandmaster Flash both credit James Brown as a huge influence and a frequent fixture of their dance parties. Breakbeat and b-boy culture began to spread throughout the 70s. You see MCs and producers digging through crates of records, searching for deep cuts and drum breaks to use. If you ain't have James Brown in your crate, I, I don't really know what you was listening to. Having that 45 was like you would have cut off one of your limbs for it. As samplers became more accessible, and with the spread of the unofficial drum break compilations, the golden age of hip-hop was cast. It's right at this time where you start to see the influence of Funky Drummer as a fixture of hip-hop DNA. First appearing as a sample in 1985 in a little-known song by MC Quick Quentin and MC Mellow J, but in 1988, the Kai MPC came out, and the Funky Drummer spread like wildfire. Hello Cool J took the sample to mainstream in 1990 with Mama Said Knock You Out. It was a standout amongst the other 221 tracks to sample Funky Drummer that year, which itself would go on to be sampled on over 100 tracks by groups like Wu-Tang and Public Enemy. With hip-hop's popularity on the rise, the sample didn't stop there, moving into other genres. Within the past decade, pop stars like Ed Sheeran and Madonna continued to get great use out of the sample. And while the song's sampling peak was in 1991, Funky Drummer has maintained a steady presence as a backdrop of popular music. There's no wonder why it's the foundation and most sampled song. Whether we realize it or not, the impact of things like Stubblefield's untrained ghost notes or Brown's showmanship still reverberate today. Only time will tell the fate of the sample. But one thing is for certain, the legacy of Funky Drummer will continue to get down. Let's lay out and let this Funky Drummer take it out. One, two, three, four, the Funky Drummer. 
There's so much more to Mr. Please, Please, Please in the sample community. Next episode, we salute the funky president. <laughs>